Preliminary Remarks Under the foregoing Act the judges of the Superior Courts of Common Law are authorized to appoint as many persons as they shall think fit, such persons being attorneys of such courts respectively, and practicing within ten miles of Sergeant Sin Hall, or other fit and proper persons, to administer oaths, and see, unlike the extensive powers appertaining to the office of a commissioner for administering oaths in Chancery, the duties of a commissioner under this Act are authorized only to administer oaths and take and receive affidavits, declarations or affirmations in and concerning any cause, matter or thing depending or otherwise concerning any of the proceedings in the respective courts. They are to be styled London Commissioners to administer oaths in common law, and be entitled to charge ls.6 d. For every oath administered by them, no fee for taking a declaration or affirmation is mentioned, but it may be assumed that a fee similar to that for administering the oath would be payable. It may be unnecessary to offer forms of jurats to the practitioner, but he may not be acquainted with the precise words to be used in administering the oath. In certain cases, the following forms, therefore, are here submitted, with some remarks for the guidance of the commissioner. The commissioner must notice by his initials all alterations and erasures in any document sworn before him. Many commissioners place their initials in the margin, but this plan is open to objection. The initials in the margin would cover two or more interlineations or erasures having no connection with each other, although there might have been only one when the affidavit was made. The writer, in all affidavits sworn before him, invariably places his initials thus, that it shall R. C. B. R. C. Lawful the cared for the Lord Chief R. C. Justice R. C. and C. And he never notices a word in which a letter has been altered, but if the alteration be of importance and necessary to be noticed, he requires the entire word to be struck through, and the true word written over it. A Christian, taking the oath, swears on the New Testament. He holds the book in the right hand, the hand uncovered, and, if a male, the head also uncovered. A Jew, on taking the oath, swears on the five books of Moses. He holds the book in the right hand, the hand uncovered, and the head covered. Affidavits, if re-sworn, before being filed must have a second jurat. If the second jurat commences with the word sworn, the first jurat must be struck out, the initials of the commissioner being placed across it, but if it commences with the word re-sworn, the first jurat must not be struck out. By Rule 143, H.T. 1853, where an agent in town or an attorney in the country is the attorney on the record, an affidavit sworn before the attorney in the country shall not be received, and an affidavit sworn before an attorney's clerk shall not be received in cases where it would not be receivable if sworn before the attorney himself, but this rule shall not extend to affidavits to hold to bail. And this rule in general applies to a partner of the attorney on the record. The fifth section of the Act applies wholly to commissions granted under the authority of the four will, and M. C. 4. Such commissions are not granted to attorney, and therefore attorney appointed to administer oaths, and c. Under the present Act will have no authority to take recognizances of any kind, 